Don't get intimidated by this question. You can easily guess and check here because even though there's a lot of information in the question itself, the answer choices are very easy to understand, right? Those are the side lengths of square Y. So let's just start with square X, which we know enough about. So square X is a side length of 12 centimeters. So square X is here and 12 centimeters on the side. And what do they want? They want the perimeter of it, so we should find that, right? What is the perimeter? It's the, it's the sum of all the sides. So for a square, it's really easy. You just multiply the side length by four. So in this case, the perimeter for X is 48, four times 12. Now we get to Y, which is a bigger square, so I'll draw it a little bit bigger. And they want it so that the perimeter of square Y, uh, square Y is two times the perimeter of square X. So just kind of using the logic of the answer choices, it's probably not going to be A or B because those are smaller side lengths, right? So how would we get a bigger perimeter if we had a smaller square? We should use a bigger one. So let's just try the 14, right? So if this is 14, we can see, okay, 14 times four is gonna give us a perimeter of, let's just use the calculator, four times 14 is 56. So it's bigger, but it's not bigger enough, right? So uh, we probably can just pick D at this point, but for the sake of just you know showing you this was wrong, this was choice C, let's do D. And now I draw my square, square Y, 24 is the side length. And it kind of makes sense that it's gonna have a, a bigger perimeter or a doubled perimeter because it's a doubled side length. So it makes sense, but let's just do it. 24 times four is 96. And so now compare 96 to 48, right? If 48 times two is 96, and it is, we're good to go. So 48 times two is 96, proof that choice D is correct. Now, even if we didn't have answer choices, you could still guess and check here, right? If this is one of those student produced response questions, you just have to pick your own value. You might have a hunch of like, okay, what if I just doubled the side length and made it 24? But you know, test those things out. Make sure it actually works by drawing the square on your scrap paper and actually seeing the perimeter. Uh, we're not deep into this section yet, so I wouldn't expect too many tricks and traps here, but you never know and it doesn't take long to verify. So uh, with any SAT question, just you know, the more you can prove your answer, the better. Don't just rely on a hunch.